Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Commander 2016 right before it releases. And generally speaking, this is the exception. Typically when people say buy singles, they are absolutely correct. You should buy singles and save money. This is the exception where you would be better off buying the pre-con deck, mainly because these singles have spiked like crazy. So you have Secret Adept, you have Condo of Jamara, and they've gone up 624%. A lot of the other cards have gone up significantly. The top out of the top risers, the only non Commander 2016 card is an old card from Legends. So I believe it's because news came out that they were foil. Generally speaking, foil cards are more expensive than non foils. The exception here is a pre-con version. Uh, if the pre-con comes with a foil, there, maybe the foil is not as expensive. But here is the counter argument. This is EDH. This is not standard. This is not legacy. This is not modern where those things don't matter as much. This is EDH. And generally casual players would like a foil. So taking away the possible upgrade into a foil I think it's very good for the casual player because it saves them money, it uh, makes it easier, they buy a pre-con deck and they already have it, you know, somewhat pimp its version of their commander. So overall I'm not too shocked to see these prices go up because they're good cards and I did not realize they would be in foil. This is the first time we see a commander. I mean, we did have those large oversized foils, but that doesn't really count. I mean, if you had a Kalia foil, man, that I think see what's a judge promo, man, she's expensive. I think maybe in Commander Arsenal, I remember Kalia foil, Kalia of the Vast, it's pricey. Um, and some of these Commander foils are just pricey because it's the first time they have it in foil. But now, foils for everyone. Great news, and I'm not too shocked to see these single prices go up. The majority of them are commanders who are in foil. This is, again, one of the only times I would recommend buying the pre-con deck from Target, Walmart, Toys R Us, Walgreens, wherever, instead of buying singles. Because there's so much value in a pre-con deck, and there's no variance, there's no randomness. So definitely, um, if you're interested in these cards, you would be much better off just buying it from a big store or your local game store, as long as they're not, as long as it's MSRP, your local game store is the first place I would check out. Bye, guys.